All right, uh, today's Friday. I don't know, I went to like six yard sales. I spent a whopping $15 on everything that you see in front of you. How did I do for my $15? Well, I did really good. I mean, because everything was like insanely, ridiculously cheap. Um, I'm going to go through it. The first sale I went to, the guy had furniture. I don't want furniture, but then he had shelves where everything was a dollar. So this was a dollar. And this, it has paint on it. I can scratch it off. But this is a pretty old picture. Um, maker unknown to me. And because the maker is unknown, I don't think it's... I, I can't attribute it to anybody. I'll never be able to attribute it to anybody. And I'll never be able to sell it for much. Unless somebody wants like a really old yellow picture that's very crackled. With hot glaze bubbles. I'll take the paint off, so not with paint. I don't even know why I show it. <clears throat> That's going in the store. I, I'll make it 10, 12 bucks. Don't know. Uh, I, I'm not wasting my time trying to figure out who made this. You know, so unless somebody knows, which I don't know. <laughs> but I paid a dollar, so that's what I like about yard sales. I mean, maybe you don't find the greatest, um, most amazing stuff in the world, but everything you find, and I do a lot of flea markets, you know. It, 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 it can be very cheap like this very cheap I can sell it for anything I want I can sell it for two dollars and I'll make money um, this is more interesting but these are made in Japan so these are probably like 60s or earlier um, and they're Mr. Peanuts it's a cruet, cruet set which basically means oil and vinegar I don't know if cruet is a French word or what um, this one's in really good condition I think nope uh, this one has a chip right there um, but the stuff on the shelf was a dollar a piece, so I gave him two dollars for these. Um, here's some crate. It's got a big, long, kind of crap crazing, you know. I mean, obviously nobody's going to use this in this day and age for their salad dressing. So I'm just. This is most likely will go in my showcase, unless this is worth like. I don't know, 60 and up on eBay. I'm putting this in my showcase for whatever it's worth. This is also a dollar. <clears throat> this is probably the most valuable thing I got today. And this is just an old enamel. It almost looks like, I'm going to say cloud design, but other people with dirtier minds than mine might see something else. Or spatter design. Um, it's an enamel covered old pail. I don't know what this was for. And I'm not sure where that little ring was for. But it's definitely an old one. This was also a dollar. Um, to me, this should be worth at least 35 and up. Possibly more. I had one on eBay similar in age, but nowhere near size it was much smaller that I think I sold for 50 60 bucks so I have to decide if I think I can get like <clears throat> 70 no nah, that's not even enough if I get like a hundred on eBay I'll put it on eBay if I can't get a hundred on eBay then I'll put it in my showcase 30 or something like that I, I, that's not a store item nobody's coming in the store for that <clears throat> and I'm not taking it to the flea market. I'll try it at the showcase first. I'll save it for an antique show. All right. Then we got some jewelry. So, I mean, it, if you add up for the dollar that I spent, uh, the $15, at least 10 at least 20 30 at least 30 60 bucks. And that's what I like about yard sales. Um, here's a nice old painted pin. I didn't negotiate with anybody. <laughs> and go like, oh, this comes to $4 where you take 3 some people do that. Some people are real jerks. I just, I paid the price. The cheap price. Um, this is a nice old pin. Painted roses. Very nice. Hand painted. There's only three bucks. This has Tiffany, like, all over it. Tiffany and company. Tiffany and company. Tiffany and company. To every single ring. Which makes me think that it's fake. But <clears throat> it was a dollar. And the, the people I bought it from should literally know better. I, I have a little teeny magnet. I'm just going to show you how, how magnetic this is. I'm just, you don't need to see me getting the magnet boring. I'll just keep, keep this on here for a second. Try not to shake it as much as I was. Uh, there's my keys. Here, okay, here's the magnet. 
I might as well show it. I thought I could easily just take this off with one hand, but I guess I can't. This is a really strong magnet. That's why I'm having such a hard time. These are rare earth magnets. You can get these off of eBay. All right, here we go. All right. So unless these are rhodium plated, this is this is fake. All right. So it's just there's just a nice charm bracelet, enamel charms, seashell motif. The charms are probably worth more than the bracelet. Here's three rings. I'll do the magnet. You pass the magnet test. You do not. So I'm assuming this one is not sterling, even though it's marked. Oh, it's sterling China. All right. Can you see that? All right. Marie will sell rings like this. Like if it was sterling, maybe 15 bucks at most, but more like 10 to 12. Let's see. Do you pass the magnet test? Yes, you pass the magnet test. Um, this one doesn't really say but it doesn't matter i mean i can't find it marie, marie probably bought it as sterling and i think these were like two dollars each or three dollars each it's just like she paid eleven dollars for all this jewelry this is a dollar that's four so so these three rings are five i guess and this it has goo, gummy gooey stuff on it but there i think it says sterling in there okay and it's got a nice kind of aqua blue glass stone and rhinestone so like again i'll just keep doing the math even if she gets that i'm just going to average 10 a piece so what was that at the very least for 60 90 at the very least 10 100 very least 5 105 and then there was this uh these are gold I don't know where it says it, but Marie says, and I don't really need to show you. You can, you can look at it and, and just believe me. Okay, see this one with the bumpy surface? That's 10 carat. Uh, see this this one? That's 14, and this one is 14. Now, I didn't weigh them separately and calculate the gold value separately or anything like that. Uh, okay. Pass the magnet um, But what I did was I just put them all on a scale calculated them to weigh about 12 ounces uh, did i say 12 ounces oh my god you know how much money that would be worth if these were no it was 1.8 grams so i just uh i just averaged it out 12 carat 1.8 grams we're looking at about let me focus in on that we're looking at about 40 dollars or so in gold 30 38 or whatever it's like it's actually today it would be 43 but you know 90 percent of that would be like 38, 39, something like that. So anyway, that's what I got today. So what was a hundred? I uh, like about hundred fifty dollars worth of stuff at least. So I, I think I did very good for the fifteen dollars. Oh, I ten times my money. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, nothing amazing. Didn't go to a lot of sales, and I'm to, I'm not buying any nonsense right now. Even though this kind of is, there's nothing amazing here. But I, I say I'm buying two ways. I'm buying really good. Or really cheap. So today is really cheap. Uh, anyway, this stuff back here, this is stuff that came into the shop. I'll show it later. I'll show it in a different video. If you're looking for me this weekend, I'll be in Jubilee Park in Clifton. Uh, they're having their show. They have it. Uh, this might be the last one of the season. Not really sure. Um, so come. You know, it may be crowded, may not be. I don't know. Um, if you like live hunting, go to Scummy Resellers and I show uh, some of the yard sales I went to. All right, anyway, I'm out of here. Tomorrow's, um, look at how it messes up the light when I do that. Because it goes in my hand, everything gets dark. Um, I'm going to yard sales tomorrow. There's like three town lights to choose from, so I don't know. One of three. I haven't decided uh, what yet. Um, otherwise, I'm out of here. Uh, like my Facebook page, subscribe to my friends. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.